So if life is wrong, the novel's wrong. If you're living the wrong life, you're writing the wrong novel. Um, or reading the novel wrongly, <laughs> possibly. That's the other thing. It's about uh, a phase of life that um, I think is becomes familiar to people usually in, in sort of the second half of life uh, where I suppose your idea of life as a story uh, begins to break down and you realise that you're sort of waiting for <laughs> uh, something to happen um, as it would in a narrative um, that, that will resolve uh, its various elements. Um, so it's about afterwards, after marriage, after motherhood, after trying to live um, according to the role that you've been given. Um, so a woman in this state of <laughs> post-trauma, uh, or having lost uh, her life, goes to Athens for a few days. Um, she's a writer and she goes to teach a creative writing course. Um, and the book is really about other people talking to her. Um, and she, she's written the book, so she's the, they're talking, she's writing, but um, she never says anything herself. Well, I think it's something that you need to get on the other side of, and at some point, you do, hopefully. Um, I mean, to me, it's about belief and what you believe in. Uh, not believing in a story is a very unpleasant experience. It's what makes you walk out of a film or <laughs> put down a book. If that actually happens to you in terms of your relationship with reality, um, it's a, that's a, an ending. It's a kind of death in a way. It's the end of, of you know, one way of living. Um, and hopefully the beginning of another. There have been periods in history where people have had far more, um, a far more practical attitude to things that we uh, expect to sustain through emotion or, or, or belief, as I say, uh, belief in love, belief in the story of love. Um, in fact, there's another way of looking at it, which is kind of what this character is saying, that, that it's actually about building and investment and what you would lose if you, uh, through emotion, <laughs> through the desire to always live in that moment of intensity, um, you know, if you, if you always went searching for that. And, and in a way, what we understand by that, uh, as I say, this reverse process of exposition that the book sort of works through, we understand that this is what, precisely what the narrator has done, that she has left that ground, she's left the territory, she's left her investment um, in search of uh, emotional authenticity and uh, that that leaves you a, a pauper. My daughter said the other day, um, and it was a much funnier comment than, <laughs> than she realised. She said, oh, I can't think of anything worse, she said, than being an averagely intelligent white man. Um, <laughs> for her, that, you know, that was just the end. Uh, what, what could you be? Where, we, you know, where can you go? And you know, what can you ever do that's, that's new? Um, so you know, under all of this is, is a belief in an inherent radicalness, I suppose to female identity. It, it, it's, evolution has, hasn't finished for us and um, I think women live in, still in a uh, condition of great fear um, around this business of investment <laughs> that we were talking about earlier, um, what they have and their 
part in in um, sustaining a fiction that constrains them, but but also is safety. Um, what the possibilities for living are beyond that, um, it's it's kind of all to play for. Um, so that's sort of part of what I'm trying to, to find out. Am I a feminist writer? <laughs> of course. Uh, well, I think it it's one of those words that's become, um, it's like a very old pair of jeans, <laughs> very baggy, and, and uh, maybe there needs to be a new word, but uh, it's, it's not, um, there's no point in disavowing it either. You know, everybody knows, we all vaguely, it, it's not precise anymore, but, but, you know, we get it. You know, if you say feminist, I think we all sort of vaguely have a, have a similar idea of what that is. Um, so, so, yeah, I would have to accept that label. Mostly it's thinking. Uh, well, it's living for a start. It's completely forgetting about writing or being a writer or it's trying to dissociate myself as much as possible and I'm, I'm not very associated with uh, being a writer I don't um, most of the time I, I don't remember that that's um, you know a job or an identity or uh, and then trying to find in one's own experience um, elements of universality uh, but also of, of the moment so a, a feeling of a phase of life being you know because you're not only yourself you're your moment in history you, you are your the place you live um, so it's it's trying to find that uh, line that that or that interface um, where you are you but you're also others and uh, and then trying to see a form in that, um, that takes a long time. <laughs> so uh, yes, a lot of the time I, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing. And then finally, uh, it, usually I've written the whole thing in my head and then I have to actually physically write it down.